Happy Sunday, you guys. So we are skipping brunch today because we are going to be doing a movie day um, with the kids and just having like a bunch of cute little snacks. So I put this candy charcuterie, I think that's how you say it, board together. I used a plate though because I don't have like a really long board yet. I need to get one of those. But this one's like all fun treats to snack on when... You're watching a movie, obviously we have extra popcorn too, but I've got Oreos, Dove candies, sour octopuses, um, candy corn. I made these cookies last night. These are the Pillsbury pumpkin cookies. We've got some spooky peanut M&Ms. These are like crunchy chocolate eyeball things. I got these at the Dollar Tree actually. Um, Twizzler pull apart. I believe this is the cherry. And pretzel sticks, these are, um, I think everyone's favorite. Chris loves them and the kids. <laughs> and then we've got sour worms. Actually, I don't know if these are sour, they just might be gummy worms, I think gummy worms. And this little guy I got at Target last year. And then we just got more popcorn there and more sour octopuses. Um, this little pumpkin bowl is from Target. And it's like eight bucks, it's so beautiful, I love it. Hey, you guys, don't pay attention to my appearance too much just because I have been cleaning all morning and I'm about to run some errands so I'll take you with me in a little bit here. Um, I'm actually finishing up the final touches of the Colorado vlog so that should be up already when you guys are watching this vlog and yesterday we had so much fun um, just like having a family day watching the Witches of Eastwick which was my first time seeing it. It's really it's a really cute movie. Um, it has Cher and Susan Sarandon and um, who else? Michelle Pfeiffer and Jack Nicholson. I can't believe I had never seen it. It was made in 87 though and I was born in 87 so that's maybe why. I don't know but I really did enjoy it and I think everybody did. Um, and yeah the the little snack charcuterie board was so much fun. I really want to get like a big wood cutting block though for cooking. And then I would really like to get one for doing stuff like that with the family too. Um, I think it'd be fun for Christmas time too. Um, Cause we're gonna be having Christmas at our house this year. Well, we had it last year at our house too, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, anyways, I just wanted to check in real quick and I will share anything I do while I'm out and about. So I just wanted to show you guys Mama B doing some fall in her house. I thought this was so cute. I love this little guy. She said she got him out of Hobby Lobby. And then she moved that um, little front entry table to over here and they made it into a bar and I think it looks so cute. She's got all her glassware down there and some recipe books. And then she used that really cute apple tray to put their alcohol on display there with some shot glasses. Looks super cute. And she's got her cute throws she found at Hobby Lobby or TJ, not Hobby Lobby, um, Home Goods or TJ Maxx. And she's got some bows on her <laughs> lights too. Looking real cute. Are you kidding me with how adorable these earrings are? They're little dangling skeleton earrings. Now I saw very similar ones on Bobble Bar, but these are actually from Amazon and they're much more affordable and they come in a few different colors, but I just went with the plain um, white sparkly ones and I cannot wait to wear them during the Halloween season. Super cute. All right, you guys, for dinner tonight, I am making stuffed shells with rogota, mozzarella, and spinach inside of the shells. And then it's gonna be a marinara sauce with mini meatballs. And these meatballs have, um, they're made from ground turkey, lean turkey meat. Um, I believe it was 97% lean. And then there's Parmesan in here, breadcrumbs, Italian seasoning, garlic, um, and some red pepper flakes. So I'm gonna make these into tiny little, like about that size, meatballs. And then I'm gonna pan fry them for a little bit and then everything is going to go into this pan and cook in the oven for about 20 minutes. And that's of course after I stuff the shells, put the marinara. I'll kind of show you it before it goes into the oven and then after. So this is what the shells look like before I'm putting them in the oven. And then I'm making the meatballs separate here. The recipe is kind of weird and I'm just doing my own thing because it didn't, it said to stuff the meatballs inside the shells and then to cook it in them. I'm just not going to do it that way. I'm just going to do it on like mixed with it kind of thing. So anyways. 
So we got the shells out of the oven, some garlic bread, and the meatballs. All right, guys, I used the new Urban Decay Stoned Vibes palette. I used Meditate and Tiger's Eye on my lid, and then I used Antidote and Hexed on my outer, or like, this one's in the crease, this one's on the outer corner and creased, and then this one I used all over, like, the brow bone. And this, I have no mascara on yet, but this is what the eyeshadow looks like. So I'll need to do my brows and mascara. I am so freaking excited, you guys. Built Bar did a pumpkin chocolate chip cookie. New flavor, it's limited quantity. It might already be sold out, hopefully it's not. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try this on camera with you guys. I mean, if a Built Bar wasn't meant for me, I don't know what is, cause this, yeah. All right, let's try this out. Wow, you guys, I had to pause the video because I took way too big of a bite. <laughs> so I couldn't talk for a second. But this is so good. It tastes like real pumpkin is in it, not just pumpkin spice. It tastes like real pumpkin with chocolate. I don't really get a chocolate chip cookie vibe. I just get chocolate and pumpkin, like dark chocolate and pumpkin. It's really good. It tastes like, like dark chocolate icing on a pumpkin cupcake kind of thing. That's what it tastes like to me. So these are bomb. Really, really good. 130 calories for these. Definitely good. Um, I'll leave all the information down below. My coupon code is 10% off. It is an affiliate link. So if you use it, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And seriously, I eat these every day. Almost every day. Look at the gorgeous flowers that Chris got me this week. They're just starting to bust open a little, bloom a little here. These are so pretty. Good morning. I'm just starting to do my makeup. I'm just in like bronzer stage, as you can probably tell. Um, I'm about to wear this blush. I've been loving Luminoso again from Milani. It's drugstore. It's so gorgeous. I can't stop using it because I love this kind of peachy, glowy cheek look. So if you're wondering what I've been wearing blush-wise, pretty much that every single day. And I've been trying to use up my Urban Decay bronzer. This is the Beached Bronzer in Bronzed. <laughs> um, because I really, really, really love my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer but I just want to use this up first. And it's much more warm toned. Um, it's not as cool toned, and I like to use warmer bronzers like this in the summer. And we're almost done with summer, so I'm trying to use that up right now. And I also always use it in combination with this found baked bronzer. The lid broke, so that's why it's off, but it's like this baked glowy bronze, and I just put that on the top of my contour to give a more, more of a glow and soften the, the contour line. Anyways, have you guys watched the Paris Hilton? It's called The Real Story of Paris Hilton. Um, it's her like documentary and it's on YouTube and anyone can watch it. It's free. I think they do have an extended cut if you have like the YouTube TV or whatever, which does anybody have that? I don't know anyone that has that. Not hating on YouTube, just saying that. I feel like no one has that. <laughs> It's actually really interesting, the documentary. I really loved the Taylor Swift one, which I don't think I told you guys I watched that during, I think it was quarantine on Netflix. Um, but I've always kind of had a fascination with Paris Hilton and I think a lot of us have. Um, maybe especially like people that grew up in the 90s and early 2000s, which I did. Um, I always thought that she was like a living Barbie. Um, and I always thought she was probably way more intelligent than she portrayed herself. And apparently that's very true, that it's a total act. Um, I had a feeling, though. She's not that great of an actress. <laughs> I had a feeling that she was putting on an act. Also, this is now the third time I'm trying to upload the Colorado vlog. I'm trying to have it post today, which is Wednesday. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully it'll be up by the time you see this vlog. This is my leg. This is him draped over my leg. <laughs> Every day I get cuddles. 
Hey guys, it's Thursday. I got my lunch back there. I got some turkey meat left over. We had like taco salads. I think it was Monday that I did that. I forget. But anyways, um, I just wanted to say a quick hi. Show you my makeup. My mascara I think is on its last leg. This is that Urban Decay mascara and I definitely need to switch it out because my, my lashes are looking a little meh, you know, not that great. But my eyeshadow is a NARS one of their little square shadows that's like really sparkly. I'll try and link it down below for you guys. My lip is Cream Cup from MAC and Buxom White Russian. And my lip liner is a little bit darker because it is. Um, I think it's Coco K from Kylie Jenner. And then yeah, that's it. I washed my hair so probably looks a little bit better. All right, you guys, I wanted to share two shirts that um, got from Amazon. And actually, they did send me these for review purposes. But like, seriously, love this sweater. Um, I love the rips in it. I know some people it's like a love hate for some people. Um, but anyways, I really, really love the love this sweater for Halloween time. These pants, by the way, are the most comfortable yoga pants I have ever worn. And I can wear them to work, too, because they have that kind of, like, because they have the pockets. And they have the, those, like, kind of dress pants feel. And they're so, so soft and comfortable. So, definitely would suggest these from Amazon, too. But anyways, back to the shirt. I think this is super cute. I'm going to try on the other one now, too. I have one more. Okay, this one is questionable for me just because of my body shape. Now, this just makes me look like I have no shape, which I can't really do unless I'm just lounging around the house and I don't care, which will probably be what I, I wear this to so just, like, be comfortable. I like that it's off the shoulder like this, and the material's really nice, um, and this is, like, a fun one to wear with yoga pants, but it gives me no shape. Like, I would have to wear a belt with it or something because... Like I have to, my waist has to be pronounced in a shirt or it just makes me look like a square, but it is really comfortable. All right, guys. I also wanted to show you these trousers. They're from Cabby and Octoly did send me these for review purposes. Um, so the company is called Cabby, but the trousers themselves are called the Coco Trouser and they are inspired by Coco Chanel. Seriously, such a good fit for me. Um, like, fits me like a glove. Seriously, I love them. Wide leg, high waist, obviously. They might be a little too high waist for me because I'm 5'6", so it almost is too high, but I wouldn't wear it like this anyway. I'd wear it with something kind of covering this part anyway, so I'm not that worried about it. It does have a zipper closure on the side here but like I said it does have a little bit of stretch and give to them um but yeah I really really like them they're super nice quality and they're they're definitely a high-end feel hey guys I just got off work um I need to reapply my lip I have this new lip gloss that I'm in love with it's from Buxom so it's still their full-on lip creams but they have these new fall like scents and colors. And let me see if I can grab it. Um, and I just recently purchased from Ulta this one and it is called Spiked Apple Cider. And it really does smell like it. I don't know if it tastes like it cause I don't tend to lick my gloss, but hold on, I'll kind of put it. I decided to apply it off camera. You can see from the applicator, it's like a really pretty, mauvey pink with like yeah it's more of like a mauvey pink this is super pigmented so the color that you're seeing is really the color I do have a lip liner on with it though the lip liner I'm wearing is from Too Faced and I think it's just called nude or maybe nude pink um but yeah this gloss and it smells so good it smells like apples with cinnamon and clove just literally like spice cider. It smells amazing. Now there's a pumpkin spice one also, and I resisted getting it until I tried this one. I already knew I was gonna like the formula, which was never a question, because I love, love, love. This is my favorite lip gloss of all time, the Buxom Full On Lip Creams, because um, they plump, they aren't too sticky. I like that little bit of a tingly feel, and I always feel like my lips look the best when I have these glosses on, and they wear really well. So yeah, if you haven't heard about these new scented fall glosses from Buxom, I'll link it down below, but I'm for sure gonna have to get the pumpkin spice one now that I love this one so much. Hey guys, 
Chris helped me take a few pictures today. And then I'm gonna be doing a little photo shoot tomorrow too with my photographer that's been taking like social media pictures for me. And we're gonna be doing it at the pumpkin patch that I took you guys to last year. Um, I'm pretty sure. Did we vlog when we were there? I think so. Is that where we got the pictures? Yeah, when, we, when me you and Gavin took pictures. I think, I'm pretty sure you saw it last time, but yeah. if not, I'll show you again. Today I have on a lot of Halloween fun stuff. These earrings are from Amazon. I think I showed you guys earlier in the week, but they're so fun. And this headband's from Target. My shirt's from um, Unique Vintage. And my skirt is from Amazon, which you guys will see later. It's kind of hard to show you right now, but isn't this shirt so fun? It's, it's cheeky, but it's real fun. We're gonna go to dinner now. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go to Serrano's. So Chris and I are gonna share some chicken and steak fajitas. We're at Serrano's. She thinks we're gonna share. Oh, no he didn't. <laughs> We also had mango margaritas. I finished mine. This is Chris's pathetic attempt. Just saying. I have to drive. It's strong. Okay, alright, alright. Anyways, this looks really good, so we're gonna eat now.